Hello, Donnie Smith here, and welcome to today's ABR in How To Tip. In this video, we're going to show you how to mask a two tone or custom paint, you know, with a couple different colors. Basically, this is just a two tone with a stripe in the middle. Now, the car's already been masked and sealed, and we have sprayed the where the stripe is going to go. It's a very, real dark purple, almost looks black to me. We went ahead and sealed and then sprayed just that area. And now we're going to stripe the area that's going to be that color. So anywhere that you see this tape at is going to uh, be the color that we're putting it on. So it's going to be this dark purple color. And notice with this tape that I'm sticking it to one end and pulling it all the way to the other end. You know, you don't want to try to adjust it mid-panel because that'll just mess you up and it'll get, uh, you know, wavy. So always go from one end of the panel to the other and then adjust it with your hand as you go and kind of just eyeball it and as you go down adjust it and like you see me doing if you don't like where it's at just pull it up and start over because it hasn't stuck you haven't pushed it down to where it sticks real good yet so you can kind of adjust it till you get it exactly where you like it once you get it where you like it you just uh, go ahead and, and push it down hold it in place here's a little bit different angle and after you get it uh, positioned where you like it be sure to, at that time, to go ahead and push the tape down real good. Run your fingers across it to make sure that it's, uh, it's stuck really good and no paint overspray is going to get underneath it. Now that I've got the, the quarter panel done, I'm going to do the door. And again, I'm going to start at one end of the door and go to the other. Now notice here in the back, it gets wider. I didn't, didn't show this step, we will on the other side, but uh, the student wanted to get a little bit wider in the back, so it goes from the quarter inch tape, and it gets just a little bit wider, very gradual towards the back. And then the remaining of the car and all the front is the same one inch width. And you could do this, you know, if you wanted a wide stripe, it would be the exact same uh, method to follow. Now we have the student on the other side, and he's going to stripe this side. And this would work for, you know, like racing stripes or, you know, any size of stripe that you want. You may have to mask each edge off and then come back and fill the center with paper. But uh, it'll work for any type of stripes. And he's doing the same thing. He is attaching it to one end and pushing it down to the, uh, the other end. Then come back and make sure that it's pressed down really good. Now he's going, to, going ahead here and he is up. Uh, going to go ahead and show you how to, to make the stripe wider in the back. So basically he gets the width, desired width that's in the back like we have on the other side and then we gradually go down into the quarter inch. Now that we got it striped off, um, or about striped off, what we're going to do next is we'll go ahead and spray the bottom color. And the bottom color is going to be a red and it's pretty high solids. It covers really good. So we're not going to worry about the overspray there. We're going to spray straight over the, the you know the existing paint and the the, the purple color, and it, it should cover good. Now the first coat that we put on, you'll notice that we just put on where the stripes at. That's just to give it a little bit extra paint for hiding, so that the uh, purple does not show through. That is something you do not want to happen to. You don't want to see. The, the color underneath showing through. So we're going to put just a coat where this stripe goes. Now on the top it's going to be a little bit different because it's silver and silver is, does not hide very well. You know it's a translucent uh, which means it has doesn't have a lot of pigment in it. It's uh, just the stripe area doesn't have a lot of color in it. So we could put four, five, six coats and you'd probably still be able to see the, the purple underneath. And that is something that you know you don't want and the, what, what we do for that is we get something that's close to the sealer I'm kind of nervous to put sealer on top of that because I don't want to put paint sealer paint I'm afraid that might have some type of reaction but what we do is we'll mix up some paint that is high solids so what we did is we got some uh, black and white we mixed it together to make something similar to that looks like that sealer that we have on there 
That way we can just put one coat of that, it will cover real well, and then we can come back with our silver without worrying about the color underneath showing through. So now he's just uh, painting the rest of the car at the bottom. And, you know, two coats. We put one coat where the stripe was, so that really has three, and then two coats over everything from the stripe down. Now that it uh, dried, we can tape the from the stripe down because we don't want overspray to get on the bottom. Because now we're, you know, if we get overspray on the bottom, we're going to have to come back and sand. And we did. I didn't mention this or show this, but I did put some intercloak clear on this. On top of that, that way, if a little bit of overspray or imperfection happens, you know, we can sand it without messing anything up. You know, it's kind of. Uh, uh, if you sand on top, top of paint, you know, if it's a metallic, sometimes you can mess the metallic up. And you can notice with this tape, we're doing it the same way. We're laying it down, you know, from one panel to the other. Go around, make sure it's pushed down really good. You don't want any paint overspray getting underneath that. Uh, just make us, you know, that make more work for you if it does. But we're going to go all the way around the car with this uh, three quarters inch masking tape, and then we'll paper, use masking paper from the masking tape down so that we cover the bottom part of the car to eliminate overspray. Notice here that I'm rubbing my fingers on the tape and the reason I'm doing that is just take some of the adhesive off of it make it a little bit less sticky because we're putting this on fresh paint and the last thing we want to do is pull some paint off you know whenever we go to unmask it so this kind of helps uh, lessen the, the adhesive on it. A little trick. Make sure it's pushed down really good to prevent overspray from getting on the red. Now the dude's going to do the other side. Notice he's doing the same thing that he's uh, rubbing the tape to get it a little bit less sticky. He's masking it up to the blue tape. And make sure that you, your edge of the tape is on that blue tape or, or you, you know, you, you'll have some overspray to get, get on there and that's something that you don't want. Now he is spraying his silver or that, that, uh, that coat I was talking about and then he sprayed the silver just from the paper up and got it sprayed. Now he's unmasking the whole car. You unmask everything now you know the silver the the purple and the red and now they've got a coat of clear coat and they're putting a, I think the last coat on here of clear coat and that's basically it that's kind of how you uh, do this and there, like I said there's different methods but this is one way to do it thanks for watching